What is going on, my Super Saiyan, which is Ronster here, along with Ivolt Gaming and Quaman's Land. And today we have a pretty interesting topic that was brought by Ivolt. I'm gonna call you Volt in this entire video. Right. Uh, the other day, and that was, does Frieza's family have the ability to reach the same potential that Frieza reaches in the upcoming Fukatsu no F movie? In case you have no clue what we're talking about, of course, I speak about the gold transformation, Super Saiyan Frieza, Gold Frieza, whatever you want to call him, and how he basically, with four months of training, in that movie, he achieves this new form, and apparently he's supposed to be unparalleled in strength, and it's up there with the same power as Super Saiyan God Goku, probably Beerus and Whis and all those guys. So it's a pretty powerful transformation. So, the question. Does the rest of Frieza's family, we're going to include Cooler here as well, even though he's not canon, but we'll just include him for shits and giggles. Does uh, Frieza's family, King Cold, Cooler, and if they have a mom or whatever, have, a, you know, what's the name, Lord Shield, have the ability to hit this form as well if they were to train? So, Quaman, what do you think about that? Let's hear your theory first. Well, Dino, I'm actually going to be a little bit on the devil advocate side, and I'm going to say no, and here's why. I feel because like you're going to say the exact same thing as I am, but go ahead. <laughs> and the reason I say this is because I don't even think it's an ability to com to be completely honest with you, because I've talked with Black and Fist U and all of the other DBZ community members and my subscribers, and I said to myself that the boost that Frieza would need... To go from being weaker than a Super Saiyan to being stronger than a Super Saiyan God is so astronomically high that I can't see any possible way of training in four months and getting that strong. Which leads me to believe that it has, although it hasn't really been revealed, I think it's going to be revealed at some point, maybe in Chapter 3, that they did some type of genetic enhancement to further improve Frieza's body, maybe improve him to some degree, like how Dr. Jiro would have improved an android, for whatever means necessary, because Frieza does have the best scientists in the world, because I just can't see how Frieza could have gotten that strong, so I think it's something genetically manipulated for him to get that strong, so I would actually say no to that, Mr. Rhyme Style, sir. I'm glad he said that. Uh, and I'm going to destroy you in a couple minutes when I give you my theory and you're gonna go Oh, that's actually a good idea. Well, that's a good theory in a couple seconds But first is here from Volt. Volt, what do you think? This is no, your theory after all. No, I agree with Quaman. I honestly don't think that um The rest of his race could actually achieve, you know, that transformation or whatever because first of all Almost every single, you know, like person that we've seen is actually lazy as hell They actually use that. Uh, I don't know what the hell that thing is that Frieza used to ride in in his first form but like this he never pod. does anything. Yeah, that pod thing. Like he never does anything on his own. So I don't, we'll call I'd, it the space segue. <laughs> <laughs> but like, yeah, I agree. There's like no way that anybody else could. They they wouldn't even bother like doing that. They have no reason to train to achieve that form anyway. Even if they could, because they're already known as the most powerful like pretty much race in the whole of you know the known galaxy, I guess. But yeah. Okay. So so he, here here's my theory. The answer is no as well. However, something that nobody brought up in this video was the fact that Frieza mentions that he was actually born with the strength. So where Goku was born with the power level 2, we'll use Broly as well, Broly was born with the power level of 10,000. Frieza was born with a power level of 530,000. So essentially, he was born with a ridiculous amount of strength that got passed down from his family somehow. I don't know if his dad passed it down to him or whoever. Somebody passed it down to him. And we're gonna use Vegeta and Goku as an example too, because remember when Goten and Trunks were born, uh, the power that Goku and Vegeta had at the time also got sort of passed on to Goten and Trunks as well, which is why they had such an astrono astronomical power level at such a young age. So my theory is, uh, Frieza's family, because of how they were, you know, throughout their history of their life, uh, by the time Frieza was born, his power level was so massive that he just figured, you know what, I don't have to train. I'm already as powerful as I am. Whereas uh, everybody else, like King Cold, I believe, has kind of hit his level in terms of how strong he can get. Even though you can probably compare Frieza and King Cold, maybe to the same power level at the time when they showed up on Earth, it wasn't until uh, basically King Cold lived his life. Where he got so powerful, so whenever Frieza was born, however he was born, because I have no clue how their reproduction works, uh, his power was passed on to him. So then when Frieza actually decided to train, you know, he's able to dig into his power level and increase it to the level that he had, is at in Fukatsu no F. Because remember, I mean, Goku, we watched him go from power level of 2 to whatever his power level is as a Super Saiyan God. And that's from, you know, training. Whereas Frieza did nothing, stayed strong all his life, and now he actually has... You know, sometimes to put in the training where he's actually able to tap into his power. So the answer is no for everybody else, but Frieza, yes, just because he is literally 
a genius, I guess you want to say. He was born with super strength, and now he's actually able to take that strength and do something with it. So that's my theory. What so, do you guys think about that? So what you're saying is if Frieza had a kid, he's, all of Frieza's power would be passed into that kid. How powerful would that kid get? Well, if you actually want, uh, since we're obviously talking about non-canon things, Frieza actually does have a son, ironically, and I know <laughs> I got to steal the words right up before Rhymestall steals them from me. His name was <laughs> Kuriza. Kuriza. <laughs> from the actual Dragon Ball Z Budokai 2 game. I remember he was like a secret Wait, character or like was an Carissa, alternate was, skin. Was Kuriza actually his son, or was that somebody else from uh, their family? Well, it's been reported on from, from other sources that it was actually his son, so... So yeah, Frieza's son, Kuriza, is actually his son. And, you know, to backtrack what you were saying, I think that, honestly, you make a really good point, Dino, because Frieza, I, I don't know for sure if he was born with 530,000, but definitely by the time he matured, he was 530,000, which is incredible when you think about how strong a person could be. If he's that strong or close to that strong without ever training, and you look at all these guys who need to turn Super Saiyan and train in gravity chambers just to reach his power level it's incredible but mm -hmm. at the same amount of time though i just feel that even if he trained four months and i understand that you know dragon ball z can write themselves out of anything but you gotta think dino and volt that in terms of power the gap is so huge that you're talking about a guy who was weaker than a super saiyan and he is not, he, look at all the realms he skips. You got to talk about the Android Saga, Cell, Majin, Buu, all the movie characters, even though they're not canon, and then Beerus and Goku. That is an insanely huge gap that I can't see anybody training in four months. Now, maybe he does something special, but I don't know what <laughs> method of training he does. Yeah, exactly. Actually, I have, I have a counter to that, but first, uh, Volt, what were you going to say? I like I was just thinking like how how is he gonna train what is he gonna do I mean how can he train like is he gonna play target practice with these soldiers for four months what the hell is he gonna do he's actually playing Xenoverse in a spaceship for four <laughs> months <laughs> no so here, here's what I was gonna know? say here's something I was gonna say that you that uh I'm gonna go off the whole idea of being a genius so do we agree that Goku is a genius when it comes to his body, his uh, his level in martial arts. Like, do we do we agree that he's a genius? Yeah. Uh, you mean Piccolo or Goku? Because I Goku, think not Piccolo. Because right? no one likes Piccolo. Oh, okay. well, I <laughs> do, I'm just is. kidding. Everybody, I, I don't like. I don't dislike Piccolo. I just like to make fun of uh, Kwame because he likes Piccolo the most. But no. Uh, but we agree that Goku is a genius, right? Unfortunately. Yeah, I agree with you on that. Okay, so Goku, when he arrived on Planet Namek, had a power level of what 180 thousand? Was it? And within that week, he went from 180,000 to 150 million, right? And that was that was about literally about five days uh, that he was on Namek, probably even less. Uh, what, what we have to consider the fact is Goku, that not Goku, but Frieza is actually multiplying his power. Uh, this next transformation obviously is another form of multiplication because uh, we see you know his power go from 530,000 to 120 million. So if we take that base power level and multiply it. That's Frieza's new power level. Whereas if we take Goku, his base power level is probably somewhere like in you know under the 10 million, or so maybe in 10 million, somewhere around there. We don't know exactly what it is because we can't calculate it because Toriyama just kind of wrote power levels out. But just using that as an example for, for numbers, Goku's base power level is nowhere near as strong as his true potential as a Super Saiyan, as a Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan 3, all that stuff. So it's like his trump card is being able to transform, which multiplies his power. Now we take Frieza, whose base power level is. Uh, Actually, 120 million. <laughs> at, at, well, maxed out. That, that's his base power because his base power is already achieved. He's like his potential is basically unlocked. It would take his base power of 120 million and then start multiplying it, you know, through training that he does over four months. It's easy to take that number and now match it in the powers of a Super Saiyan God, of a Beerus, and Whis. Like that, that, that's the way I, how I see it, is the fact that his base power was so massive that any form of transformation or new level gained and any multiplication of Athos power is easily taking him to the next level. Like that's just how I see it. That's and that's why I believe that he can achieve the power that he gets in this movie. But then how does Kula work? How does Kula come into this? Like I know he's not canon, but like shouldn't his transformation well, do cooler, the same thing? With Cooler, uh for whatever reason, I probably I mean technically just the Cooler writing. probably could have too, because we don't really know Cooler's past. Uh I mean Cooler does kind of find a way to reach his potential and find another transformation 
But I feel like also Cooler is also might be, you know, lazy and he just probably never actually really trained. He just transformed. Like, I feel like Frieza's family just kind of transforms and goes to that power that they have rather than actually training. So I feel like technically Cooler, if we go off the whole idea that, you know, uh, King Cole passes power on to his kids, I feel like Cooler technically could achieve the same power if he really, like, really trained or if he really needed to. It's just a problem with the whole Frieza family is the fact that they were always the most powerful out there next to Majin Buu and Beerus. So they never needed, you know, another boost to get to the next level because they were already so powerful. So theoretically, even Kariza probably, all these guys could probably achieve the next level in terms of transformation. But like King Cold, I feel like King Cold is because he's older. Uh, him being that strong led to his kids being that powerful. And then of course the offsprings as well, so including Kariza as well. So they're just going to keep getting stronger and stronger. Yes, so the Frieza family needs to be stopped right now. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, who knows what will happen tomorrow. But then again, Kariza is a good guy. Kariza, uh, wherever, whatever universe he comes from, uh, Kariza is technically supposed to be like the that offspring in the Frieza family that's like not evil, right? Isn't that, isn't that what the story is, uh, Kwame? Yeah, he wasn't aggressive like Frieza from what I remember reading. But, yeah, um, and, then, and then Froze, Froze also from the Frieza family, from the other universe that it's from. Froze is also a good uh, Frieza character, which is what the Frieza clan is based off of in Dragon Ball's universe. Well, I'll just make this final counter though, Dino. I think you made a really good point that I didn't think about how you're basically saying if you multiply Frieza like a Saiyan, then he's kind of on par with them. And I and I think that makes perfect sense. Like for example, let's say Goten and Trunks and their base form are like around Frieza's power level, like they were saying in Yo Son Goku and his friends return from what I remember. And, uh -huh. you know, basically once they go Super Saiyan, they'd be stronger. And if, if Frieza could go like a Super Saiyan, he'd obviously be stronger than Goten and Trunks or maybe the Androids. But my thing is this. You got to think about all the transformations we've gone through at this point. I mean, I'm just saying, even if he multiplies, that's an insanely high multiplication to get to Super Saiyan God levels. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, you really got to think that's a huge number. So that's why I'm really curious to see how the hell they write this into the story because I just found it interesting how he could be that much. But I think this has been a great discussion and I think it really opens the floor for all of our subscribers. I just I just have one more question about Frieza's like transformation evolution. Is it like an evolution where this like new form is his permanent final form or is it an actual transformation where, where you know he can actually Ooh. transform back? Because that's actually if, a really if it's good an question. actual evolution, then it kind of makes sense as to why he became that strong, because this is his new final form. That's actually a really good question. Uh, well, we do know that Frieza can revert back transformations, because he's talked about how, you know, pe only certain people have seen this these forms before. Uh, plus, a lot of people knew it, those forms existed. So, I, I feel like Frieza can revert back in terms of transformations, but I feel like this form is more of a powered-up state. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we'll find we'll find out in the movie when it comes out, hopefully. But I I just see this Golden Freeze as more like his version of Super Saiyan. Quaman, man. I agree with you. I think I've said all my points. Cool, great. Well, you know what? Uh, this is actually a really fun discussion. So I cannot wait to see what everybody, th everybody else thinks about it. So feel free to drop your two cents in the comment section below. Do you think Freeze's family is all possible, or can all possibly attain this uh, uh, transformation potential, whatever you want to call it? Or only some, you know, Frieza, Cooler, Kariza. We're going to count everybody, so Chilled as well. So anybody that you can think of, uh, let us know in the comment section below. And of course, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you punch that like button. Check out both Kwame and Eyeball Gaming in the description below because they both have awesome content. And vice versa if you watch this on their channels. And Kwame, actually before we, before Kwame takes this out, Eyeball, do you want to say anything before uh, we end this video? Uh, there's nothing really for me to say, honestly. Is there anything? Uh, yeah, there is. You have awesome content, so tell them to come watch the content on your channel. <laughs> well, I guess I do recreation videos of, you know, characters that you may know of for Xenoverse. I, you know, showcase mods as well on my channel, so if you want to check that out, you know, just come on over. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Cool. Do it. Kwame, you know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this part. <clears throat> Please. And I mean, please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe to the world. But before you do that, remember, as I always say, in every single video, and this goes back a long time, to have 
not just a good, not a mediocre, or not a bad day, guys. But to have a great day, guys.